Hello and what is up there guys and welcome back to another video on my channel this time another Minecraft tutorial and we are going to be building uh, this uh, Viking longboat and without much further ado let's get into the actual building okay so let's start out this build by placing nine blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine then we're going to go all around by placing these half slabs and once we've done that we're gonna create one side of the ship first we're gonna go one block up then another half slab one another block then upside down stair and we want to go up with stairs until we have three upside down stairs then we want a normal stair we want two of those then we want a half slab with two full blocks against it and one on top of that one upside down stair full block and then we're gonna create a dragon by placing a half slab stair on top of that another half slab then two upside down stairs a normal stair and another normal stair there normal stair over here then an upside down one fill this in place another upside down stair and a normal stair over there to create this kind of shape we're just gonna do the same thing on this side so full block half slab full block stair full block stair full block stair stair full block another stair going up then the half slab with the two blocks against it one on top of that another one and then we're gonna create a dragon head again with half slab and then like this then another placing like uh, there another stair over here filling uh, this in then placing stairs like that and we've got our two sides uh, then what we want to do is place one block here then one two three four five six seven eight nine and you want to make sure that you've done those sides right because if those aren't nine but uh an even number instead it won't fit with the actual mast of the ship in the end then we're gonna place uh, like these half slap in the corner to yeah round the build off a bit then what you want to do is you want to place full blocks of oak wood so this is a change in color oak wood there then you want to place two blocks of oak wood on these sides as well we're gonna do that on both of the sides of the ship and then we're gonna take out oak wood stairs place one of them like this one of them like that and then on this side as well but then we're gonna go all the way through to until we meet the other block and then we're gonna do this on this side so that you create this kind of shape and that this is what you want to do on both sides so let me just set the daytime back to zero and then we can continue our build with daylight so once you've done that you want to place half slabs still oak wood half slabs on the ends just to kind of create this shape then what we want to do is take out oak uh, no spruce wood blocks place two there and two against that then we place two over there and we place four over here so we place another four over here two over there two going up and two going up so let's see two going up two there two over here then four over here then another four over here two over there two over there two over there then you can see that this ship is finally starting to take shape then we take out oak wood stairs, place two upside down ones, a normal one, a slab, another normal one, a normal one, a slab, normal one, upside down, upside down. Then you see that is a little bit more rounded. We're going to do the same on these sides as well, just to kind of round off the edges of that thing that we just built. Then we're going to take out oak wood planks, place them on these ends you want to do that all around then you want to place stairs like uh, this 
place two slabs against those so that you kind of create this shape then you can see that this build is almost done um, then what you want to do I like to bake the build even a little bit more rounded by kind of just placing um, spruce wood slabs in these holes and then I'm gonna go with oak wood slabs I'm placing one of them there then just a row of them like this and just kind of support them like that uh, because that just rounds off the ship and I think that looks quite good but if you don't like that you could always just fill in the edges but you can see this is starting to take shape don't really mind that the bottom half doesn't really look as as good as it could perhaps but as soon as you put it into water it will it will really look good uh, at least in my opinion so then what we're gonna do is we are gonna fill in this floor on this height so you want that stair to be kind of like your reference point for this that and you can see that this leaves like a little bit of room free in your ship and this is why you want to build the ship on land first at least if you're doing this in creative because then there is no water in your ship and you can have like a little storage area hidden over there then you want to place two blocks just to make the lock come out there and then we're gonna make it 16 high so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so we've got this height and you might think whoa that's a little bit high a good mast should always be uh, around the same size of the entire ship just because that's realistic uh, for the power that would be needed to actually get this ship moving then what I usually do is make some holes here and we'll decorate them later what you want to do next is kind of clear your invent uh, your space bar here you take out oak wood slabs again and you take out the kind of wool that you want to use for this time I'm gonna use red wool and white wool just because that in my opinion that looks the best uh, then what you want to do if you've got those materials is just to kind of start with the oak wood slabs because that's uh, important parts we want to go out and go a total of nine blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine on this side and on the other side as well one two three four five six seven eight nine so that we cut this kind of shape and what we want to do next is that we want to place some fences so we also need the fences we want to place the fences on one inwards so kind of like that and that is where we're gonna connect the sail with the actual builds we're gonna place three of red then two of white then two of red then three of white then two of red two of white and three of red so that's kind of like the upper layer of this build then what you want to do is um, we go like this creating like this corner we'll do the same on the other side as well so we create that corner piece then against that we want to create like the opposite white corner piece and then what you want to do over here is kind of create like um, this red thing going down uh, three blocks in total so like this then we want to have it come back again and make the shame shape it that up there so first this one and then three blocks to the outside so we've got that on that side we want to do the same on this side so three down then we're gonna make the same shape going outwards and then we're gonna place three blocks like uh, that then for the white wool we want to kind of create a different shape so we're gonna be placing those three blocks but instead we're gonna be placing two blocks like this on both sides then what you want to do is create the same thing that we did 
on the upper part so like this let's do it on this side as well so kind of like make this shape then fill in these three blocks and do it like this you can see kind of what shape we are going for with this sill then we're gonna place two like this we're gonna place two like this two like this and then it kind of starts to get a little bit tricky we're gonna be placing the blocks like this so just try to follow what I do so if you have that we can do that on the other side as well so first we'll just go up three and then we go out one again we fill kind of in uh, these blocks and then we go back inwards and for the white part of this build what we're gonna do is we're gonna have another layer of uh, that just going so and then we're gonna have it go out by two just to bring it a little bit more forward uh, just a little bit more so that we can have like the centerpiece fully blown out then we place three underneath that again then because we have to get back to the main sail we have to do the same thing that we did up there down here as well so um, it's a pretty easy sail to make but I think it looks really good um, like the wind is actually blowing into it then of course what you want to do is to place another layer of planks like this another fence one inwards so it looks like it's actually yeah connected to this ship somehow so now we have this um, this ship is actually looking starting to look quite good uh, but before we can actually continue or before we will actually continue decorating it um, I am just going to select this ship and place it into the water so let me do that and then you can see how you should build this in the water in which layer okay so when you are going to copy make sure that you've selected all of this ship then go face the border of the ship go like cut or copy then you will see the ship disappear then we go out into the sea you make sure that you're just above sea level and you're gonna paste minus a so it's not well no we'll paste normally because otherwise it will be filled with air again then you will get something like this but if you've got the commands anyway you can just go fix water um, oops fix water air radius so that it fixes the water again um, and I see that I filled with the pasting so I've got to undo two and I've got to go even one higher so paste um, uh, this could be right and then fix water um, so yeah this should be like how high the ship should be in the water and you see that now it looks a little bit more natural I think uh, so what else can we add in this ship you want to take out some trap doors and some uh, ladders for the ladders you want to place them like this so that you could actually go into the storage room uh, what could you place down here you could place some uh, cobwebs maybe and some chests so for example um, some chests over there another chest there uh, some cobwebs so this basically is just a storage room that you can place some chests in uh, on both sides and the ladders are to make sure that you can actually exit it if you would enter this in sing um, in uh, survival so yeah just make some random chests uh, around this this place and then you've got your own little storage place which is filled with chests um, of course to decorate your build further what could you do you could take out I use birch wood for this of course use any material would like take oak wood slabs as well uh, maybe some torches especially if you're on survival it couldn't hurt to place some torches on this ship just to make sure that nothing can spawn here um, 
then you have to decide which way this ship would be sailing let's say that we're going out there then I'm gonna place birch wood like this and you'll see in a second why I'm placing this so these are basically supposed to represent benches that people could sit on then I'm placing fences like this and these are supposed to be where the people can row the boat because Viking long ships are known for yeah having rowers as well as sails so what you can do you can have these come out too on the outside as well um, I prefer not to make holes in the ship just because that looks like the ship is going to sink any moment then we're gonna place the half slabs oak wood half slabs like this underneath them because then it looks like there actually could be pedaling and of course if you use uh, video settings you have quality you've got clear water on and um, where is it uh, you've got fancy water you won't be able to see the the water bugs from up here you will only be able to see them as soon as you go into the water but that's just really something that Minecraft should be fixing sometime soon because how awesome would it be if you would not see these bugs of water when you're actually in the water because you really need the materials to build realistic ships and with that being placed we have ourselves uh, a nice looking Viking longboat I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did don't forget to leave a like uh, maybe subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I do a lot more tutorials like these, this one and in other styles as well. So go check them out and please share this video with your friends if you think that they would want to build this boat as well. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to suggest any other tutorials that you would like to see and yeah, bye.